What's up guys? It's your boy JJ. Uh first day back to reality. My vacation ended yesterday. Um well yesterday wasn't a vacation. Got home, clean, laundry, got ready for work today. Um so yeah. I really wouldn't consider what just like the first time Arizona wasn't considered a vacation because I almost died was hiking in pain um, and then this cruise just went horrible horrible um, missed well I didn't make it to the Fort Lauderdale port to board the ship in time due to uh, United Airlines they were no help at all left us for dead basically didn't care at all it was just horrible horrible um, so I miss on the eight-day cruise I missed four days because of United uh, Royal Caribbean I called their emergency line they were no help um, and United was no help so we got off the United Airlines they said uh, once we leave, we're not their problem. Um, they said they could not do anything to get us there to board the ship in time. So we just got out and we went to each booth to make the uh, best out of it. Uh, we booked a flight with Southwest. Um, it got us there at five. Well, they said they could get us there at five. I called Royal Caribbean again to confirm and let them know we're on our way, see if they could wait for us. I told them I would leave all my suitcases, just get their land and go straight to the dock. They said it was impossible. They wouldn't wait for us. So um, um, my next op option was <clears throat> they didn't even suggest this to us. I had a friend tell me just fly to the first port. So uh, we told Southwest that uh, we couldn't take their... Uh, flight asked them if they could take us to St. Kitts and said they said the airlines don't fly out there so they refunded us our, our money um, no no troubles with them they were very easy um, so we went with American Airlines we had a sleep at the St. Pittsburgh airport for 12 hours and then um, we flew from St. We flew to Pittsburgh to Miami, then Miami, no, I'm lying. We flew from Pittsburgh to Chicago, Chicago to Miami, Miami to St. Kitts. Um, we stood at the, uh, Marriott Resort in St. Kitts, it was nice. They had their own private resort. It was on the beach. Um, they had a pool bar, jacuzzis. It was very nice. Um, so we stood there one night. Um, the flight to St. Kitts cost us a thousand dollars, plus hotel for two nights and food for three days. So I figured, you know, I didn't even plan that. Like if my sister didn't bail me out, I would have been screwed. Like it was, it was horrible. So I tried to conserve some money. I said, "Yo, we'll stay at a nice hotel, and then let's stay at a cheaper one the next day to try to conserve some money, so we still have money throughout the the rest of the trip for excursions and stuff." So we stayed at this hotel. I told a guy who picked us, the taxi driver who picked us up from the Marriott. I was like, yeah, uh, where are you going to the airport? I was like, no, we're going to a hotel in um, downtown St. Kitts. He's like, they don't have a hotel down there. And I was like, yeah, this one. So I showed him and he was like, he started laughing. He was like, oh, my friend, that's no hotel. That's a guest house. And he walked away. I'm like, I'm looking at my girl like, oh, shit, that ain't sound too good. So um, we get there and, man, it's in the trap. I'm talking about ghetto i'm like oh loud so we get there you had to knock to get in the doors lock at all times i'm like yeah that's a bad sign. 
so we get there you know we book it we're looking from the balcony they got a balcony i'm like damn we are in a straight hood it, it was crazy man it was like it was insane so i'm like whatever so it's like uh we get there i think like at uh one o'clock so we get to the room the room is felt like i was in the 1980s so um you know my girl's complaining whatever blah 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 i'm like suck it up buttercup so she's like well i want to go see the city i just don't want to stay here until the boat comes around i'm like, all right so cool i was hesitant i did some research they were like st kitts is the top 10 murder rate in the world and i'm like so I'm telling her, do not wear your jewelry and we cannot be out past the lake. Past uh, sunset. So we go out, we go to the tourist section, and the tourist section is absolutely dead. We are the only light skinned people there. So everyone's looking at us. I'm like, oh, this is not going to go good. So we go get some food right in the tourist spot. And then we walk down through the strip downtown. We go to a park near there. And she didn't feel comfortable. You know, we were being stared at the whole time. So. Um, we went straight back to the hotel where cable's not working. Um, so we're just, we take a shower, we're laying down watching YouTube videos. Um, Wi-Fi was working. The AC was pretty decent. Um, so we're watching YouTube videos for an hour and then we're laying there and I feel something like itchy me, crawling up me. So, you know, I just do a little of this and then I feel it again. I look over, dude, the biggest centipede I've ever seen in my life. It's a Caribbean centipede. I forgot the name of it, but it's uh, poisonous. It was like see-through red, like like this long, like this thick, dude, insane. So I swipe it off and I get up calmly. I'm like, Jen, if I were you, I'll get up off that bed right now. She's like, why? I'm like, just get up. So she like jumps up. And she sees it, she starts flipping out. She's like, no, no, we're leaving, we're leaving. I'm like, all right, all right. So I go to the front desk and I tell them, like, yeah, um, there's a big centipede that just caught on me. My girl doesn't want to stay here anymore. Uh, can we get our money back? She's like, oh my God, yes, I'm so sorry. That never happened, blah, blah, blah. So um, she, without question, she just gives us our money back. Um, then she calls the... <clears throat> The owner of the place, he apologizes, says that never happened, blah, blah, blah. So we left to another hotel that we originally wanted to stay. We get there. It looks decent. It was like five minutes away. So uh, we get there, and she's like, oh, it looks like the same. But we get inside. There's TVs everywhere. It's nice and bright and white, open, high ceilings. Dude, we get to the hotel room, and I'm like... Yo, this is like insane. Like, it's freaking amazing. Half of the price of the first resort we stood in, the food there was amazing. I'm like, this place is underrated like crazy. So, um, yeah, that happens. I uh, loved it. The boat coming in the morning. So, we enjoyed ourselves. We went, uh, did we go nice swimming? No. I don't think we did, no. Yeah, we did go night swimming. Um, yeah, we woke up super early to see the sunrise because the view was amazing. Um, went swimming and then we seen the crews come right up to the port from the hotel. It was, it was amazing. Um, so we got to the, to the port. Oh, the hotel is um, Ocean View Terrence or Ocean Terrence Inn amazing if you ever go to St. Kitts check it out um so yeah um we get to the port they act like they don't know us they were acting bougie as hell I'm like yo we're on the list I paid for this I got the confirmation number oh, you guys said we could meet them I called and confirmed you guys said it was alright to meet them so we had to wait for like 30 minutes outside. Everybody staring at us and blah, blah, blah. So, um, you know, they finally let us in. Day one, it was just horrible at the cruise. We were disappointed. 
Um, it was just horrible. Very horrible. Um, I just got to work, so I'm going to stop this video. I'll resume it later. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> what up, y'all? I uh, just got out of work. First day back at work. Uh, shitty day, I guess. My body ain't used to working. Got to get back in motion. Um, as I was gone, the electrician finally came in and started wiring up the house. Dude's a hack. He put a stainless steel screw on a wall plate with a finished painted screw. Not even the same size. Like, come on, who does that? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to level out this floor to accept uh, long plank tiles. This house is backwards. I wish I started from the beginning, but I was working at Melco at the time. Even though I ain't have the knowledge that I probably would have needed anyways. But, uh, so yeah, like I was saying about the crews. Um, that. Um, day one was shot. Like I was saying, um, we were promised 150 onboard credit. They made us jump through hoops to get it on the phone for 30 minutes with the people we booked. Like I said, it's just a he says, she says always. If we never would have brought it up, they would have just walked us on it. Um, we, uh, we didn't prepay for the drink packages, thank God. We didn't. Um, so we go to go get a drink package to go buy one. And dude's like, oh, you can only get one on the first or second day, it's too late. I'm like, well, that ain't my fault. So he's like, oh, I'm sorry, there's nothing I could do. So I had to go down to the service desk again, talk to them, they called, blah, blah, blah. Wasting more of my valuable time. Um, they let us do it. So we had to pay, and I'm happy it worked out that way anyways, because instead of paying for the eight days for the uh, drink package, there's a $8 drink package, which is um, like carbonated Pepsi products and stuff like that. And then they have a $26 a day which is um, virgin drinks, any virgin drinks. Um, like there was pineapple, mango, strawberry, peach, and uh, pina colada. So we were drinking those all day. Um, and then the their best package is $31 a day. That's all alcoholic drinks. I don't drink, so I didn't get it. So on top of that, you gotta pay a $15 um, gratitude per person so it was me and my girl so that was 30 bucks plus the 26 dollars a day so the first day we get there i say kits um, was the hottest day probably one of the hottest days and there was probably i want to say on the 11th deck where the pool area with the spas and pools and stuff there was probably at least 30 servers at least 30 servers yo i felt vip every five minutes i had someone you want another drink you want another drink blah 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 so i could understand the 15 dollars per person gratitude i don't know why it was for my girl because i only i got a drink package but whatever so um the first day yeah i think it was worth it just because they were on top of it drinks 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 taking the cups um so the second day the third day the fourth day dude it just got worse and worse no servers i had to walk up to the bar walk up to the bar take my own cup back take my own cup back um so there was that uh, oh and then all right let's talk about the food the first day we went we went to dinner at 8 p.m they sat us right next to the stairway where there's mad traffic at a big table. It's just me and my girl. And we're like, damn, we gotta sit, sit with a group of people? Like, it's just us. So, um, 
we we called a guy our waiter and we're like can we sit just alone on a smaller table just for me and her he's like oh let me get the service guy blah 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 so the head manager came he's like oh what's the problem I'm like oh we just want to sit alone he's like oh but the people that are sitting here they're a couples in your age group too i'm like how do you even know how old i am but i'm like so my girl i don't ever do a lot of talking i'm just quiet always so then he just kept giving excuses. I'm like, dude, we're antisocial. We don't want to sit with no one. So he's like, all right. So um, he took us downstairs and we were walking around for like 10 minutes looking for a table. Finally got to a table. Um, everybody just started getting there as we got there. So no one ever came up to us to take our order for about 40 minutes. Um, it was me and my girl and then uh, a guy uh, a guy and a girl in front of us and then people all around us and I think they were going through what we were going through nobody took their order food took long to come uh, so finally somebody comes uh, one waiter comes they take our order they gave us bread from another table that had just been sitting there, put it on our table. I'm like, oh, okay. They take our order. Um, we ordered steak, me and my girl. They brought us out like a pot roast, and I ordered a side of uh, like scalloped potatoes and a side of a, uh, a baked potato. They gave me two sides of the scallops. Um, they told us basically what type of steak how the way it's going to be cooked that we want it oh we think you would like this more I'm like, what the hell? so anyway so then um orders got flip-flop we had like two different servers and then our permanent server came and we told him we didn't even order this and the uh, steak's not cooked the way we asked like she was telling us how we were going to get our steak so he got mad you could tell he was passionate about his job uh the guy was named uh, was Alexis he was uh, from the DR cool ass dude man like he was on top of it made us feel comfortable like at home um, so that was that the food at the dinner wasn't up to par the um, the buffet was way better every island they had different food um, you didn't feel like you were bothering anybody you know like I hate when you ask for something and they're just doing their job and they're making a big deal like you're bothering them. Like, dude, if you don't like your job, quit. So, um, yeah, the refills, we weren't even getting refills at the dinner. It was just better at the buffet, man, way better. Like, so, um, but at the buffet, this, like I said, the servers were lazy. We were taking our own. We're paying gratuity $30 a day and you guys ain't even doing what you guys are supposed to do. But whatever, that's besides the point. Um, so that was that. I mean, yeah, I guess that's really everything. I mean, they had uh, rock climbing. I was scared of shit. They had the surf. Uh, what do they call it? The surfing, the onboard surfing. I forgot what it's called. Um, I was a beast at that. I mean, it was cool, but um, my first experience was my basically worst experience. So. Me and my girl were gonna probably go to Carnival. You know, we didn't feel appreciated. Um, we just started vacationing, and it wasn't it wasn't up to our ex expectations. You know, uh, we paid for the full eight days, and I know it wasn't their fault. It was no one's fault. It was Mother Nature's fault that we didn't get to board the ship on the first day. But you know, a big company like that, I did the math for the prices we paid, and we got the lowest quality everything. They brought in. I think it holds 55, 5,300 people. For what I paid, they brought in easily six mil. And that's thinking low end. And then they're not gonna sit here and try to uh, show us appreciation or, oh, I understand, here goes like, here's this. They didn't look out for us at all. Like, what would have made me happy was, oh, since you only used the four days, like um, for the gratitude and for the drink package, they only charge us for the four days, not the full eight days. If I would have paid in advance, I guarantee you they would have never refunded us for the four days. And that's the way I would have felt a little bit more special. Like, oh, we understand you were only on the cruise for four days, so only pay for four days. We're going to refund you the rest of your money. But it didn't work out like that. So, um, you know, the way I see it, I'm the new generation. Um, 
Um, I'm gonna be telling all my friends and family about what cruise, how was my experience. You know, a lot of people are old, they do cruises when they're retired, and there's some people that like to go out. There was a lot of young people, but majority is old people, but like I said, we're the new generation, and you guys ain't trying to take care of us. Like, you should be like, yo, he has 30, 40 years to be going on cruises. We should try to earn his business, not just rob him once and uh, leave him high and dry. So that's the way I feel about it. I'm a business owner. I know I, I love taking care of people, you know, make them feel appreciated. So Royal Caribbean, we won't be going on again. Uh, we'll be checking out uh, Carnival and probably forgot the other one, the name of the other one. But that's for sure. Um, United Airlines, we will not be ever taking again. Like I said, they leave you high and dry too. No help at all. We had a, a nine hour buffer um, just in case of delay or something like that and it still didn't help out at all. But like I said, it was a learning experience first cruise and I learned a lot <clears throat> I think that's all I really had to say oh no one ever told us we couldn't bring food like I said oh yeah there you go this was another thing that pissed us off oh a few more things I forgot I don't know how I can forget anyways um for some reason they wanted us to see immigration when we landed in Puerto Rico I don't know why so they woke us up they were like if you're not here by 6 30 a.m uh you could receive a five thousand dollar fine for not meeting the immigration i'm like okay so we'll be there so we got there like at 6 a.m and they don't arrive to 7 30 and we don't get out to like eight eight o'clock and we landed in puerto rico or pulled up to their puerto rico's port at 7 a.m it was 7 to 2 p.m in puerto rico so by the time we even got off the boat, it was like 8.39. So they're cutting into our vacation for no apparent reason, which was dumb. Like, they're like, are you declaring anything? I'm like, no, like we're staying on the cruise. Like, I don't know what the heck you guys are talking about. They looked at our passports. Okay, you're fine to go. Like, dude, we're Puerto Rican. Why did, like, it was just dumb. All right, so that was that. And then as the days, I would say the past two days, uh, before the cruise ended, it just, things just I started noticing things like they started shorting stuff like not as many drink options um, like the food like the service just got shittier and shittier every day that passed on the cruise so um, I went to go get a drink on the last day on um, a Saturday we arrived up uh, for a lot of the Sunday morning so Saturday I go to get a drink he's like oh there's only mango and peach I'm like I can't get a, a freaking um Pineapple, freak is it called? Pina colada. So he's like, no, this is all we got left. I'm like, man, what the heck? Like, you know, like it was bullshit. So um, on announcements and on the paper, they said we could get breakfast the next day before we get off the the boat in Fort Lauderdale. So I wake up to a phone call at 5 a.m. talking about, are you coming down to deck three? I'm like what they're like you're supposed to come down here like nobody told me so i'm like all right I, I'll, I'll be there i guess um give me 15 10 minutes so they call us another 10 15 minutes are you coming down i'm like yeah i'm getting ready i just got woke up out of my sleep like what kind of vacation is this waking up i can see at a hotel you check out as at 12 10 we're over here trying to kick us out at 5 a.m like it's ridiculous it was ridiculous so um so as we're walking to the to the spot where they told us to meet us, they put us on the loudspeaker harassing us. You guys were late an hour and a half and you don't see us harassing you guys. You're cutting into our vacation in Puerto Rico. Like it was complete bullshit. I'm like, do, do I get a $5,000 check, check now since you guys wanted to threaten me with it? Since if I was late or I don't show up. So whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, the experience was horrible. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I would say St. Kitts was beautiful. It was um, Royal Caribbean's island. There was no cast there, you know. Um, everything was private, no, um, how do you call that? Hadians could go there. It was just Royal Caribbean only. It was beautiful, man. It was the only island that looked like an island, like the jungle. It was it was dope, man. It was, it was hot. Um, we did the excursion, like the 
the jumping in the water it was official we fishes we could see fishes through the water swimming next to us it was it was crazy but um i think that's about it um if i'm anything remember anything else i'll make another video try to edit it in but um hopefully i help you guys if you guys have any questions um please let me know oh another important thing if for no so go on a cruise you don't need a passport you need your id and i think like two proofs of id um if i never got my passports for shits and giggles we would have missed the cruise 100 percent because we had to fly directly to st kitts so it wasn't boarding in fort lauderdale showing them your id that you're from the united states nope you need a passport to fly to one of the ports that we were going to meet them at because it's a different country so if i didn't spend the 300 dollars on mine and my girls passports we would have been asked out on the whole trip guaranteed so like i said think twice before royal caribbean and united that's my warning to you guys like i said any questions or comments uh contact me and i'll be more than happy to assist you guys thank you